Like if you outwork the number one agent today, you're number one today. This is what I believe. I'm sharing that with you for nothing. Just get out there and succeed. Have you really done your research to realize what, who the top producer is in your area? I, I know who it is, but I just know a name and I don't like, I don't know anything about her. Okay. You need to immediately after this live, go on MLS and pull up her sales last year and see what volume she did. See how many transactions she did. Look through her sales, see what neighborhood she's selling in and become very familiar with that top producer's business. Okay. You want to know what she, you want to know what she did in 19, you want to know what she did in 18, you want to know what she did in 17, 16. You want to really kind of look and really kind of pay attention because that my friend is the benchmark. See, we're trying to hit the benchmarks and go and and exceed the benchmarks. We got to we got to find the benchmarks before we know where we're going. Well, we don't even know. We don't even do. We're trying to be the number one agent in our area. We don't even know what the. Know what what, what, yeah, we don't. We don't even know what the benchmarks are to yeah. to 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 get there. What is the volume number that we need? Okay, yeah. and then we're gonna put together a three to five year plan to absolutely annihilate that. Really, you know, when I did this, I looked at the number one Remax agent in the state, and I said, okay. You know, they got number one. I said, all right, this year, 2014, this year, I'm gonna get more listings than they get every month this year. And if I do that, in theory, I should be number one. Yep. And that is literally what happened. I just completely focused on making phone calls. I said, if I make more calls, I'm gonna get more listings and I'm gonna do more deals, I'm gonna be number one. And that's literally what happened. And so I had to know what first? I had to know how many listings they had. I had to know how many listings they were picking up per month. You know what I mean? Yes. And so And so then I start to visualize myself obtaining that many listings. See, it's all about, see, that when you, when you think about success, the first part is visualization. Yeah. You see yourself doing it. Yes. Okay. Then the next part is, is that you believe that you can do it. Yes. The third part is doing it. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so until you know what that top producer is doing, you can't visualize yourself doing it. You know what I mean? And so now that you've got your feet wet in the market and you know you can at least sell properties and make a living, now let's step it up a notch. Yes. Let's see what that benchmark is to be the top, the number one agent in your market. And then you can visualize yourself being that top agent. Then you'll start taking, you might even change your game plan up, your day to day up, because now you have this whole other mentality focused around visualizing yourself as the number one agent. See what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Kind of got off subject. Yeah, but it's, I really think a lot of people think that it's the, and execution is critical, but I think so many people would have listened to what you just said and they would have nodded to everything, but really not committed to the visual visualization part of mm. it, you know? You yeah. really have to do that. You have to see it. You have to believe in yourself. Yeah, like, dude, when I, 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 I just knew, I knew that I was going to hit it. You know what I mean? Um, you know, I was 100% committed. I was going to put in more work. It's like if you outwork the number one agent today, you're number one today. Yep. You might not get an award, but that day you were the number one agent in your market. You yes. put in more work. You put in more effort. You know what I mean? And so I when you pull that. when you pull up her listings, her active listings, yep. put in order of day of activation and then look at the months and see how many she actually put in MLS per month. Go back, you know, January, December, you know, November, October, kind of go back in time and all the way back to all her listings and see how many she's pulling per month. You know what I mean? See how many listings. Yeah. Now, some of those listings may have sold, so she may have gotten more than what you see because they're not active anymore, but that's another thing. Pay attention, look at her pending deals. Yep. Look at her closed deals and really, really, really dig in. You know what I mean? Dude, I love this. Yeah, really dig oh, in, this. really dig in, you know, and it's not like we're, we're not like targeting, you know, we're not just, we're not trying to, we're trying to be the best here. Yeah. You want to be the best, you got to beat the best. 
and you got to be the best. You yes. know, you know the difference in winners and losers. Winners, they just do it. Yep. You know, I mean, every mo like ninety nine percent of agents out there, almost did it. You know, everybody almost did it. They quit right before they got there. You know, everybody almost gets there and then quits. Everybody. You know, you got to visualize it and follow through. I just, I just think, I just really believe that you're going to be the number one agent in your market over the next, you know, five years. 